number 292, Stuart C. MacDonald. Stuart MacDonald. I beg to move that the neonatal care leave and pay bill now be read a second time. Yeah. Yeah. And that is because this bill paves the way for the introduction of neonatal care leave and pay. I'm grateful to all honourable members for being here to consider this proposal and I very much hope to support it. But what we can and what we must do is help to relieve some of the practical and financial challenges mm -hmm. that accompany that experience. I'll oh, be happy to thank my honourable friend opposite for uh, bringing up this bill. I just wanted to express to him you know, how much I support what he's trying to do. As somebody who has employed myself and my wife, uh, who is also a constituent of Broxtow, uh, had her, uh, our, our twin children, uh, who were six weeks premature and th um, three weeks in neonatal care for one of them, how much I support his bill. Uh, I'm very grateful to the honourable gentleman for his intervention and I, as I said earlier, I think the most powerful advocates and the best arguments come from those with direct experience so I'm really grateful to him for, for staying behind and for lending his support this morning. Collectively we have an opportunity to effect real change and I think it's our duty to ensure that those who will have to rely on such provision going forward are fully able to do so. Yeah. 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 I'm genuinely absolutely delighted to rise to support the neonatal care leave and pay bill 2022. So I very much look forward to, to this bill going into committee, uh, ensuring that it passes the House uh, speedily and can receive royal assent. And with that, I commend it to the House. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And may I also congratulate the Honourable Member opposite on this very important bill. I join with colleagues across this House in supporting this bill. And I hope that mothers and fathers across the country will be reassured by the contributions made in this debate today. May I begin by congratulating my friend and colleague and member for Cumbernauld, Kilsyth and Kirkintilla East for securing this private member's bill and for his decision to use this opportunity to introduce a bill on this very, very important subject. Madam Deputy Speaker, this bill has my strongest support and I hope it receives the full support of the House. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I congratulate the Honourable Gentleman, the Member for Cumbernauld, Kilsyth and Kirkintolloch East. And that is why I hugely welcome what the Honourable Gentleman has brought forward in this bill. I look forward to supporting it today, and I look forward, should he so wish, to serving on the Bill Committee to help make sure we get this into legislation as swiftly as possible. Thank you, Madam Deputy yeah. Speaker. I am really delighted to be considering this important private member's bill this morning and I want to really thank the honourable member for Cumbernauld, Kilsyth and Kirkintilloch East. I've practised Kirkintilloch East. I have honestly practised that. I'm sorry. So I hope the government will honour its commitment to ensuring paid leave for neonatal care and ensure the smooth and quick package passage of this bill. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. And may I also uh, congratulate uh, the Honourable Member for, uh, for his, uh, uh, his bill today. <laughs> I won't even attempt uh, to, uh, <laughs> to say your constituency, but I'd love to visit one day. So if that um, I absolutely endorse it. I wish you the best of luck today, and I would urge the Minister to please, from the dispatch box later in her first week, uh, uh, she's doing a fantastic job in her first week, to, um, <laughs> to make this go through, because I think you will have a legacy for generations to come who will talk about this day for many years. Thank you very much. I congratulate uh, my honourable friend, the member for Cumberland, Old Kilsyth and Kirk and Tillich East, uh, for choosing yeah, yeah. paid neonatal leave as the topic of his bill. And so, needless to say, um, I fully back the bill and hope uh, that the Minister, despite the, 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 uh, and the government, despite, despite the mayhem all around her at the moment in government, uh, will see this paid leave rolled out as quickly as possible so that all parents are as lucky as we are. Yeah. 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 And I would like to congratulate the member for Cumbernauld, Kilsyth and Kirken to look east. I hope I got that right. I'm Scottish born and bred, so I should get it right. 
they should be doing everything that they can to support their baby and they also should have themselves the support of society. Their place is there. It is not in work at that time. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker, and thank you for indulging me this morning. I wasn't going to speak in this debate, but I've been so inspired to hear everybody else that I feel I must add my personal and obviously our party support to this bill today. I want to thank the Honourable Member for Cumbernauld and the rest for bringing forward this bill. It's so important. And I want to thank the, the, the Deputy Speaker for her, her eloquent words there, which highlight just exactly why we're doing this. It's really important that we get this bill on the statute books to benefit the parents um, and the babies across the United Kingdom. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. It is um, a pleasure to be replying to this bill here today, and I do thank the Honourable Member for bringing it forward and all my Honourable Friends who are here to support it. I was very glad to see it top the ballot and for the Honourable Member for Cumbernauld, Kilsyth and Kirk and Tillich East um, to take up the work. I think the trick is to just say it quite fast, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm, I just would urge the House, I'm, as I said, I'm very pleased to see the spirit of cooperation today. I would urge this House to give this a second reading today. I hope that we can get it through committee as quickly as possible, as the Honourable Member said, and um, hope to see it become law as soon as we can. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. I would like to thank the Honourable Member for Cumbernauld, Kilsyth and Kirkintillock East. <laughs> It will be Cumberland from now on, I'm afraid. Strong. I am pleased to confirm that the Government will support this bill. Yeah. It is good to see there is support from across the political spectrum in the House for this important measure, as is clear from the debate today. I look forward to continuing to work with the Member for Cumbernauld to support the passage of these measures. Thank you. I was optimistic coming to the Chamber today of support, but uh, it has taken my breath away to an extent. We've had one member um, suggesting a visit to my constituency. We've had a very talented former minister uh, yeah. requesting to serve on the committee. The answer, of course, is yes, particularly if we can bring a friend. And we even had a, <laughs> a, 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 a very welcome and powerful intervention from uh, Madam Speaker in, in, in the chair as well, which I think uh, we all very much appreciated. So again, as I said at the outset, I think um, the best advocates for this cause are those who speak from personal experience, and I'm really particularly grateful to MPs who have spoken from that point of view today. And I, I look forward to working with you all in the weeks ahead uh, to see this bill through. Thank you very much. Having observed that this bill uh, has total unanimity of support in the House, I don't think it compromises my usual impartiality if I seek to add my congratulations to the Honourable Member for Cumbernauld Hill South and Kirk and Tillow East. It's quite easy when you know how. <laughs> <laughs> Cumbernauld Hill South and Kirk and Tillow East um, for bringing forward such an excellent bill and having myself given birth to a premature baby one week after a general election and in the middle of a Conservative leadership election, <laughs> I can understand some of the stresses and strains that have been expressed this afternoon. The question is that the bill be now read a second time. Is Mr. going to say aye? Aye! The country, no, I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Congratulations, Mr. McDonald.